The Marvels is bombing! In a bad way. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Clifton3D, and today we will be talking about the box office numbers of the Marvels and the future of the MCU. Yes, I said it, the MCU. The Marvels shatters another MCU record. Post's worst first Monday box office gross in MCU history. The Marvels continues to break records for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but not in the way that Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios would like. According to the Exhibitor Relations, the Marvels only grossed $2.4 million in its first Monday at the domestic box office. Here you can see the tweet in comparison. Eternals scored $4.2 million its first Monday. The $2.4 million Monday gross continues a weekend of declined grosses for the film. The numbers previously reported the film grossed. $21.6 million on Friday. It then declined to $15.2 million on Saturday. On Sunday, it only raked in $9.2 million. The decline from Sunday to Monday is 74%. On top of the film seeing its box office grosses decline, its first Monday gross is the worst in Marvel Cinematic History. For comparison, The Incredible Hulk back in 2008 grossed $6 million, which wasn't a great movie. Ant-Man in 2015 grossed $6.4 million on its first Monday. Looking at more recent comparisons, Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantum Mania grossed $14.2 million. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 grossed $8.9 million. Even films that were supposedly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic had higher Monday grosses. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings grossed $6.6 .6 million, while Eternals did $4.2 million. Even Black Widow, which released on Disney Plus the same day as in theaters, grossed $6.4 million in its first Monday. Comparing the film to other Marvel Cinematic Universe releases in November, it still gets beat. Doctor Strange pulled in 6.6 .6 million back in 2016. Thor Ragnarok did 8.2 million in 2017. The Black Panther Wakanda Forever grossed 11.1 million dollars last year. But the Marvels might still have a chance. I mean, there might be one bright spot for Marvel Studios. The percentage drop is not unheard of. Black Panther Wakanda Forever declined 73% from its first Sunday to Monday. Eternals also dropped a decline of 74% in its first Sunday to Monday. Doctor Strange had a 71% decline and... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 had a 72% decline. Of note, all of these films saw those grosses rebound on Tuesday, usually upwards of 20%. The only exception being Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which only saw its Tuesday increase 14% from its first Monday. But to further humiliate, Disney's putting together a feminist young adventures group because the Marvels did so well. Mm, eesh. Well, if you saw South Park into the Pandaverse, you know they put a chick in it, made her lame and gay. Now, before I leave you to comment down below, I would like to let you know that I actually like strong female superheroes. 
I like strong female characters in movies, in shows. They just have to do it right. Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Hollywood, they're just not doing it right right now. Maybe Cartman was right. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below, did you watch the Marvels? What do you think of their numbers? To me, personally, I think that it doesn't matter what they're going to be putting out now. They could put out an Iron Man movie. And I think you would still continue to see numbers like this. They will continue to drop. At some point, the only people watching this movie in theaters will be the people who go on YouTube and review it. I'll be honest with you, I did not go and watch this movie. I have absolutely zero interest in the MCU. Unless you actually tell me in the comments below, go and watch it and review it. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and hitting the bell for notifications because YouTube needs to know from you beyond just subscribing to my channel that you actually want to see my content. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. But such is the world. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. Take care. Duck Fizney. Until next time.